A couple days ago, I made a video talking about how I need to quit, make some changes, things have to come to this channel that are different. And the goal is to, we, we, you know, we've got a van being set up for a mobile production. We want to travel the country and meet real people. I'm going to keep producing the podcast like I'm doing on my second channel. It's about five videos of, that's what most people tell me they like. And then Subverse is going to be where things start taking off. What you're looking at right now behind me is a production space in Connecticut. This is where Minds Studios is based. You may know, you, you've probably noticed in many of my videos, I show a URL for Minds, which is a social media site which I'm using, because it's not part of this big tech oligopoly. You know, it's, it's, it's better to be expanding and trying new things and going in new places. But this space is also where Subverse is going to be based. And if you want to work with us, we need you to come work with us. I can't have more and more channels with just me producing content. At a certain point, my brain will explode and melt and fall out of my ears. So what I have to do is focus on my content, but then find a way to turn it into something bigger with more people who are doing more work and doing different news and different stories and different kind of content. The goal for Subverse isn't going to be just news. We're going to do everything from gaming, media, entertainment, travel, etc. If you've seen the videos we've done so far, they're pretty boring, and that's on purpose. It's just straight news. Email us pitch at subverse.net, P-I-T-C-H at subverse.net if you want to work with us. We're looking for producers, writers. We basically want everybody hosting content to whatever capacity you're able. We have something we can you know, work with you on. And we're actually looking to hire a fairly decent amount of people, a handful, not you know, 50, but maybe, maybe around five, maybe around 10. So we need people who can research, who can write, who are interested in stories, who want to help build this from the ground up. It's based in Connecticut, so you'll probably need to live in the New York area. It's about an hour from New York. But yeah, if I'm going to build something bigger, I need your help. And I can't just be the only one doing this all the time. It's hard to know what the future holds. I have no idea how to accurately predict what's going to work, what won't work. But what I do know is what I'm doing now works to a certain extent. If I want to grow beyond where I'm at, I need your help. Pitch at subverse.net. But more importantly, you're probably wondering what this place is like. And there's a big echo. So let's go actually, let's check it out and let's meet up with Bill, who's going to be helping set all this, uh, setting all of this up with me and a few others. That's Bill. What's up? You may have met him before. I've interviewed him several times. Do you want to just like introduce? What do you do? What's your, what's your focus? I'm co-founder of Minds, CEO. And yeah, we, so I grew up in this town actually, in South Norwalk. And I always drove by this place. I was like, what the hell is going on in there? And because it was pretty much low key production studio for um, the decades. And when I moved back here from New York, I stopped by and I was like, I wonder if they have space. And then I walked in, I was like, what? <laughs> okay. They certainly do. <laughs> yeah. And you hear that echo? We're going we're gonna to dampen it. But so here we are. And we're building technology. And you know, Subverse is making media, and this is. So you guys are going to be doing your minds thing. Yeah, we're doing our minds thing. We're doing dev. We're bringing in. And there's going to be a little bit of overlap. You're helping out, you know, as we expand. Yeah, Subverse. yeah. I'm going to be. Yeah, so I'm going to be involved with Subverse, sort of separate in, in you know, separate regards, um, because you know, you have the platform versus publisher. Well, Minds is something issue. totally different. Yeah, Minds is something totally different. But Minds you as an individual. Technology. I'm an individual <laughs> human being, and I like to make content too. So <laughs> guess yeah. what? That's, that, that's not... Um, so so here's, the, here's the important thing. Look at the space. I bet the audio is trash. You know, one of my biggest concerns when filming this, I'm like, Bill, the audio, it's too echoey. We'll this embrace room it. room is now. too embrace big. It. And then I thought, well, you know what? Here's the thing. We're going to be putting on live events. We're going to be having speakers come down. There needs to be a bridge between the physical and the digital. We can't just have people online in these bubbles. What do you got? Just up there. I mean, oh yeah, it looks like cool. I'm going to say this, for the people who end up working here in whatever capacity, it's, it's going to start off as probably like the easiest job you've ever had because the job is basically let's build something cool and we're going to figure it out as we go. Now obviously we produce media, we do podcasts, we have conversations, but who knows where that will take us. You know, we have an opportunity now. There's this crazy space. I mean, this stage should be streaming all day, potentially all night, depending on <laughs> how yeah. much we book it. But and, and and get different hosts and yeah, come on, let's do it. Let's let's hear the ideas. Yeah. Ultimately, we're going to start from where we are now. We're going to be doing news on the ground reporting. 
But then we're going to have this space where we want to have intelligent conversations, exploring ideas. We don't want to chase after any hyper-partisan nonsense. Look, obviously, someone like me, you know, even someone like Bill, we have our opinions. We believe in, in free expression, Workshop speech, and, and things like that. But it's not so much about an agenda for, for, poli for politics or anything like that. It's just about doing something cool and having the space. And I'm going to throw it back to what it was like when I first, first started working for Vice. And everyone thought, how, you know, how cool is this space where you can do whatever you need to do? But eventually it became corporate. And even now, the office, when you see the photos, it does kind of try and retain some of this raw feel with like bricks on the ceiling. Yeah. But it is different. It is more corporate. They've, they've definitely become a machine. And I'm, and I'm not saying that to disparage them because I still think a lot of people who work there are right people. And I still respect the people who are at the very top. That's fine. But this is an opportunity to have a big space where come up with your ideas, come in, do some work, and we're going to figure out how to make it work. Probably going to be a subscription model. We're probably not going to have to worry too much about ad revenue or anything like that, which means we're not going to be constrained like a, lot, like a lot of other media companies are. Tim's office will be up there. I'm going to be up there <laughs> with a bow and arrow. But, you know, to start, we're less concerned about figuring, you know, uh, I guess advertising, and more concerned about can we make something cool that people like and they're willing to spend a couple bucks a month to help us maintain it and keep doing cool stuff and having these conversations? And the answer to that question is yes, of course, because I've been doing it. But me sitting in my living room and talking about ideas isn't enough. We need to do more. And now we have an opportunity to do more. And in order to do more, you have to come down and join. Now, obviously, we're not going to hire literally everybody. So a lot of people watching this are going to say, I don't, don't live in the area. I don't live, you know, even close to the area. I don't make media. I wouldn't know how to start. And if that's the case, well, then obviously not everyone's going to get a job. But we are looking to hire people who want to have fun, do crazy stuff, make crazy videos, be it entertainment, news, ideas, concepts, podcasts. We need a mural on that one. Yeah. Or actually, you should put a projector. Because project you do have a projector. Or maybe do a mural around, like, yeah, we have a projector there. Maybe make, like, a movie screen area and then do a mural around it or something like you, that. Because where is the projector? Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Yeah, like, could you, that, that, it's kind of pointed the wrong way for a theater. You know, like, the, yeah, the projector can, should be pointed at the... Lazy Boys. <laughs> yeah, right. But, yeah, play a movie up there. Yeah. Basically, let's put it this way. There's a huge space. There's a huge space yeah. with infrastructure for media. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to do something. That's what we're going to do. You know, so come down and give us your ideas. Send us emails. Let us know. We're looking for stories. We're looking for people who want to work. But first and foremost, we're looking for people who want to get started ASAP and just start producing videos. The most important bit of advice for anybody who wants to start a business is just start doing it. We're not going to sit around and write down a book after book of, you know, how we're going to do this. No, we're going to come in. We're going to turn the camera on and say, go for it. So if that's you, let's do it. Let's take a look at the space. We talk too much. So this used to be the upper part of the balcony for the theater. Um, that goes to the roof, roof deck. And uh, very sweet old ceilings. So, just repainted the site. We're going to be bringing, you know, getting this all stained and fixed up. And probably doing the live, you know, have hosts down there. Yeah, you know, and get get the. We have, still have to hone in the audio a lot. That's probably, yeah. But we will get there. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and all right, let's keep going. So this is the primary workspace. This is the primary workspace. I did walk around already, so I do have to roll. I'll just fill all the offices. Um, there are more downstairs, but I think. I think that's probably good. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's just funny things in this building. Like, this is like from. What is this? A freezer? Like, no, it's a it's a sound booth. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, it's legit. Oh wow. It's probably from like 19. A, oh, definitely. Yeah. What's and what's over there? Nothing. There's a camera over there. That's kind of a weird no. room. How do you get in there? Right around. Just walk around. Oh, yeah. right on. <laughs> Cool, so but this needs to be redone in here. This is but we definitely need a sound room. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. perfect. Yeah, there could be podcasts in here. So for those that are interested in joining the fun, it's probably going to start off as like the easiest job you've ever had, and uh, you'll grow into it. 
Because here's the thing. There's a bunch of empty rooms. Uh, you know, how many people actually come in, that's going to be determined. You got a dart board there. But for the most part, what we need is to uh, slowly just build it out. And the way to do that is to bring the people in, start expanding the content. We Let's need to. Here. Let's go over downstairs. There's one other spot. There's plenty of rooms to fill out. <laughs> it's like a whole media library. This is what like, is this? This is decades of films, like, like um, reels and stuff. Oh, and if you, and this. This is like the actual, this is what they use at like the archives, like the National <laughs> Archives kind of stuff, yeah. Um, this is from Rabbit Ears and Still going. Palace. Rabbit Ears is like an animation, uh, children's animation studio. These are like VHS's, it's, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious archive. Um, Puss in Boots. Rumpelstiltskin. I think I turned off the lights over here. Um, oh, this is the deep, <laughs> this is the deep part. This is where you change, the, this is where all the letters for the marquee. Oh, shit. It's off. Uh, where's that? Turn the marquee on. No, all the they're back in that. Is that chat. that's where the zombies there's are? <laughs> that's that's creepy. I'm not. We're in the no, deep but there's, like, down here. there's stacks of all the original letters for the marquee. And uh, yeah, a lot of this needs to get digitized still, so that's what they're working on. Fresh tomatoes. But I mean, with rabbit ears, they've done collaborations with like. So many different Denzel Washington, Meryl Streep. Um, let's see, just so many celebrities that just wanted to do voiceovers on children's cartoons. Um, people probably get triggered that I brought up Meryl Streep. All right. Uh, that's pretty much the full, the full scope. This is. Uh, 